Liz Fong Jones' assistant, Catherine Lorelei, quote unquote, trans flag, um, is uh, active on Blue Sky. So Temperance, who does a lot of digging, one of the gooderest posters on the Kiwi Farms, uh, dug through all of his, his, I think he's active on Blue Sky is what he's saying here. So these are Blue Sky posts. Um, Philip Sisson, a.k.a. Catherine Lorelai, is very proud in his work in getting the Kiwi Farms the platform. Oh, very interesting. Very interesting. And this is the person from Norman, Oklahoma, who wants to go to Washington, D.C. to become a full-time trans activist and wants to be paid for it. Um, uh, what's something that you've done this month that you're proud of? I got PR done with the Washington Post and launched my fundraiser. Uh, Y'all remember all that vague posting I did on the precipice of and big shit happening? This is what I was talking about. I'm in the Washington fucking Post today. I was featured in an article in the Washington Post because of my humanitarian work. You know, funny, I remember I was also featured in several high-profile articles uh, highlighting my work and dedication to freedom of expression on the internet. I don't, I don't brag about it, though. Um, I'm in the article. You should read it. This is Natasha Tiku, the Indian woman who carries water for Jeff Bezos, who would sell her entire extended family in India for one fucking quarter. Uh, you guys should all check out the Washington Post. God, just hyping it up. Today is the day it all happens. I sleep tonight for the last time as an unknown. The future. And great. This person is insane. This person really thinks, oh my God, some weird Indian woman put out an article saying that I'm a habitual fucking harasser of this internet service and their providers. This is it. I made it. He, see, he like looks, have you ever bought a lottery ticket and you're driving home and you're thinking like, when this hits and I get it, I'm buying that fucking house, I'm going to Wyoming, moving to Jefferson County, I'm buying that fucking house that's $20 million. I'm going to sue the fuck out of these people. And you're just thinking, you're just thinking through your head. This is, this is my life after this ticket wins. And this troon is sitting there thinking, I'm going to publish in the Washington post, going to Washington, DC. I'm going to get uh, a condo there, a million dollar condo. It's going to be funded. And I'm going to be a full-time trans activist. I'm going to really make a difference. Every child in the United States, as soon as they come out the womb, will be shot with test. Will, will be shot with uh, HRT hormones as soon as they're born. Thanks to my work and the Kiwi farms will finally go down. Like they're just thinking, oh, fuck it. This ticket's, this ticket's going to win. This ticket's going to win. That's what's happening. Um, I've changed the world in measurable ways. <laughs> he says after he manages to take the Kiwi farms down, which I read on the Kiwi farm. It's just, it's just so funny. I've done, I've done so-called amazing things. People call me a heroine. I'm just a normal girl quiet i'm sorry and i have crippling anxiety any of you can do what i do anybody because if you're here you're already amazing this person's like you trans kids i know it seems impossible i know you don't think you have what what's what it takes what but what's inside of you i know that one day if you try really hard if you work every day towards your dreams you can be as good and as cool as I am. Like, <laughs> just a little bit of an egotist, I believe. Um, so I'll tell you a secret. I networked with a lot of big names in trans activism. How did I do that? I literally just talked to them. Liz and I became partnered in activism because I sent her a cold open DM and we found we made an amazing team. If I can change the world, anyone can. They really think. This dude really thinks he's changed the world. The world is now a more wholesome, heckin' wholesome, trans-inclusive place because the Kiwi Farms is dead forever because he sent a bunch of fucking emails with some creepy weirdo rapist. Amazing. Uh, it's a hell of a thing to ask, people. Are you ready to save the world together? This is... <laughs> <laughs> these tweets i wish i could hear this person say them in their weird clown voice you know what i mean i would really re i would be very gratified and um in hearing uh M ms lorelei ex just say what they're saying in tweets but like actually with like the i i changed the whole world i'm a real woman now and i'm going to go to dc and i'm going to to trans activist um, is fighting the Nazis. These kinds of things I'm up to, you know, just hot girl 
who fights the Nazis kind of shit. <laughs> Paid two of my three overdue rents and I'm kind of broke. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should have asked Liz Wong Jones for a raise while you were out saving the world together. That's funny. That's, you know, how do I want to phrase this? I'll phrase it diplomatically. Kind of like with uh, Dick Masterson and Vito. It's gratifying to me to know that if something were to happen and Catherine, Catherine Lorelei suddenly needed, um, an injection of funds to help them in some way to deal with some kind of problem. Uh, you can bet that Liz Fong Jones wouldn't pay them anything and they would have to deal with it on their own, which they wouldn't be able to do. Without getting into detail, that's funny to me for some reason. Just a, a little bit of a cosmic, cosmic joke unfolding in real time. Like moving to DC, something like that. Something like moving to DC. Um, this is just him begging for money. I'm so close to the first thousand dollars, y'all. Okay, hold up, hold up. Let me find it. Is it right here? No. Okay. Catherine Lorelai, go fund me. Help me move to DC to continue my advocacy work. Oh look. Catherine Lorelai has made $1,000 of $50,000 with nine donations. So I'm going to go on my other browser. I'm going to go to Zillow. And I'm going to go to the rent part of Zillow. And I'm going to say DC. Let's see. So a bunch of places to rent in DC. Let's go from lowest to highest. Well, oh, there is economy housing. Oh, this this um, studio apartment is two hundred twenty five dollars a month in DC. You can live on Macomb Street in DC for two hundred twenty five dollars. Take a picture of this. There is no pictures of the internal, of the inside of this house. So. Uh, Whatever you whatever you get, you get. That's on the south side of the river. That's why. Oh, there are so many lovely um housing projects that this person can live in for a thousand dollars a month. Um that's a hundred percent of their budget for one month. Yeah, moving to DC might be out of your budget. Maybe you should stay in Norman, Oklahoma. I'm just gonna give you a, a little little financial pro tip there. No walls. This is a studio. There is no walls. You walk in, it's going to be. Uh, I lived in a studio when I lived in Portland. Uh, there's walls around the bathroom, at least. The bathroom is about a quarter of your entire floor plan. Well, good luck with that. Let's see. Is there anything else funny here? A bunch of pictures of them. He keeps crying about how he's totally the real victim. His ex-wife girlfriend raped and tortured him. Please believe. Oh, he's talking about being falsely accused by stuff. Let's read this. I wonder what he, he was falsely accused of. I wonder if it was a sexual offense. Let's find out. Some people will ask me more about my history. In this story I wrote a year ago, and usually what I point to to send people to read. It's long, it's fucked up, and it's dark. Trigger warnings. I tried my best to be more than the sum of my scars. I try to use my story. To better the world, to be an advocate. Uh, this message has zero interaction whatsoever. It was posted a day ago, and it has one retweet. And I think that retweet was by him on his own message, and nobody liked it. I still live in the same house. I'm still stuck here. When I talk about the voices of torment, this is largely what I mean. I live in a house where I am tortured and raped. <laughs> I will try not to make my fundraiser a sob story to get out. I want to help this world. But I want to get out of here to heal. Um, being, oh, so this is in response to Russell Brand being accused of sexual assault like 20 years after anything happened, if it ever did happen. And let's say what, what um, Catherine has to say. Being falsely accused can be a problem. It's rare as far as anyone knows, but it's affected me personally. 
better protection for victims, better systems in place for due process, less victim blaming, having more honest conversations about this widespread problem, all to help the falsely accused. Damn, it's really weird how both Liz Fung Jones and his executive personal assistant, Catherine Lorelei, have both been accused of rape. Wow. And they both want to take down the Kiwi Farms. Wow. Wow, chat, that's weird. What a weird coincidence. Because as he says, false accusations of rape are so rare. And both of them were falsely accused of rape. Wow. That's a that's a that's one hell of a coincidence. Now I understand why they get along so well. Only a traumatic event like being falsely accused of rape could br bring so, uh, two people on such completely different walks of life on this whirlwind journey to change the world by fighting internet Nazis and bringing change to Washington, D.C. directly, chat. Only something like this could happen. <clears throat> I got punched in the gut emotionally. <laughs> I was slapped across the face Figuratively, I was stabbed through the fucking heart, uh, rhetorically speaking. Uh, I was putting up with this Biden abuse of X. I'm not feeling well emotionally right now. Please help me out here. Donating or signal boosting. Uh, one retweet, two likes. I guess my abuse of X still wants to hunt me by hurt me by gaslighting my friend until they stop talking to me. And then I retweet the story again. Oh no, save him. Save him. He wants he wants to take his weird torpedo tits to Washington D.C. to be the and then also show you weird pictures of his crotch. This is safe for work. I'll show you this. Here are my panties. Here are here are my my man boobs. My torpedo tits. Please pay money to send me to D.C. I will bring down the Nazis. I will personally march into the, the to the Reichstag and I will burn it to the fucking ground because I am a heroine. I am a heroin chat. Please give me money. There's two more. Oh, a bunch more. Ooh, do I want to read all those? Um, <laughs> I'll probably be in many more news articles, I guess. God, my life was weird. Kind of wanted the world to leave me the fuck alone and now I'm becoming a public figure to save it? Shit is wild. Sadly, most people didn't care before I changed the world. <laughs> so you think being a hero is your ally? You merely adopted heroism. <laughs> I was born into it, molded by it, and now I've changed the world. This dude is fucking psychotic. This is wonderful. Um, oh my god, Allie the tranny asks, okay, I searched this, but who wants to move in with Lesbo and move to Lesbo with me and be sapphic together in this house? And that's a Lesbo is an island in Greece where the term lesbian comes from because it was supposedly occupied only by women that were for other women. Um, Lorelai says, I would, but I have to save the world. Unfortunately, this is like a South Park skit. This is like if Cartman was uh, tricked into believing he had like the or is that like the episode where Kyle has to be sacrificed or something? He becomes like a prophet and he's like, I have to sacrifice everything. He's like, wow, dude, you're kind of like a douchebag. Now you're doing saving the world thing. Except that's like that's like a, a plot of a TV show and this is reality and this person's just insane. I want to fight for a future for all my people. Been writing copy all day on my fundraiser to move to DC. Ah, I hate writing copy about myself and remembering that I'm actually good at this shit. Damn good. I've been working largely from the shadows for a year, and now it's time to be in the public eye. Okay, I agree. Catherine Lorelei is saving the world, or changing the world. And fighting Nazis. I, 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 I've, I've been convinced. I believe that this person is funny enough to share. Ginger cow is sacred, exactly. <laughs> um, who, who dares message me? Boss man Jack. He wants everyone to know that he's streaming. Wonderful. 
I literally fight Nazis for my job. I'm also very passionate about fighting for the rights of my people. And yes, I am going to save the world. I've already changed it. Okay, now I have to change it because I, I corrected myself from saying that, um, that he didn't say he was saving the world. He just said he was changing it, but now I have to change it. Hold on. Is saving the world. I think that's the only, this is probably the first time I've ever showed the feature dialogue for my feature mod on stream. Nobody, nobody's ever looked at this panel before and, and saw what the options were for the, uh, for the feature shit. I have to be careful when I do this because uh, it's a, um, it's something that represents the site. So I have to make sure that the, the taglines are, um, more impartial than, than any other post on the forum. Do, do, do. Oh, he's, oh, he thinks that he's black? This app has never been safe for black people. Black people, sorry. And since people are going out of their way to keep it like that, might end up deleting this app before I delete Twitter. And Catherine says, ah, I hate this about Blue Sky and most other social media. Piss off the pretty white trans femmes and you're pushed aside. <laughs> Who does he think he is? What ethnicity does he think he is? Do you know who I am? Okay, this is, I would like to read this. And then I'll be done if it's not super funny. The latest PR push will allow me to fundraise. I mean, it's not every day you get featured in the Washington Post. One reply, zero retweets, zero likes. Edith Laurie Charles trans flag says, ooh. I like how they have trans flags in their name as if it's not immediately fucking obvious looking at their profile picture that they're that they're trans. Like yeah, that's redundant. You might as well just make your picture bigger or some shit. Catherine Laurel reply says, you haven't seen it yet? And then Ada says, nice one. And says, you didn't have any idea who I was, did you? <laughs> he literally thinks like, Yo, oh, you, you precious, sweet, innocent summer child. I am a hero of transgender folks. And, um... Yeah, I'm I'm fighting Nazis and saving the world. Saving the world. You can tell your your kids one day that you adopt from the the orphanage because you're a tranny and you'll never have kids that are your own. But maybe Joe Biden will give you some one day. You can tell them that you knew me and I was a great person. Also, I was told that um he is Cherokee. He LARPs as Native American. He probably is like point one percent. Cherokee Indian on his 56 and me and uh, that is what he chooses to identify as just how I'm I'm Jewish I'm more Ashkenazi than fucking Ethan Klein as far as anyone if anyone asked I am the most Jewish man that you've ever met ever oh one more what this says no it's okay hon I'm just teasing most people had no idea who I was before that article dropped and then, uh, oh my god, the tranny is dabbing on him and says, superhero voice, no one knew who I was till I put on the Washington Post. And then he laughs and says, what's funny is like, only a very small glimpse of my work, XD. Also, what a way to come out like most of the world, eh? Uh, a lot of my old family and friends had no idea I was a hero. Crazy. Wonderful. It's going to be really, really funny watching this person who has now done like their great breakout and they're going to be like, yes, I am now a internationally recognized super heroine saving the world from the Nazis. The money's coming in. I'll be moving to DC. I'll be living in a penthouse suite overlooking the, the Capitol building itself. And everyone will love and respect me and I'll no longer be raped <laughs> in my house that I can't move out of. And then over the next year, he's going to be like, oh, nobody gives a fuck. And the Kiwi Farms is still up. Wow, that's really depressing. Because only self-aggrandizement like this, uh, coming down from something like that is going to hurt a lot. And that would be really funny. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.